Hey, what's going on guys? Cyril got back again today with another video playing Battlefield 1 again and a couple weeks ago I made a video it was a little bit before Christmas and I think it was called the best gun for beginners in Battlefield 1 and I had a few people coming on that over Christmas that were obviously new to the game and this is when I didn't have internet and I couldn't make a video about what I thought was the best gun now so a few changes have been made to the game as we all know, a few patches here and there, a couple updates since I've been gone. And now I'm going to go through every class in the game and come up with the best primary and secondary. And I'm going to start with what I think might be probably the best gun in the entire game at the moment. And that's for the support class and it's the BAR, the Browning Automatic Rifle. It's probably, I think, the best gun in the game. And there's a few reasons for that. It's basically because it's just a big assault rifle at this point. It's only got 20 rounds, but I think it fires 600 rounds a minute, which is one of the highest fire rates in the game. I think only beaten out by maybe the Automatico submachine gun, maybe the MP18. I don't know. I don't know those exactly on their fire rates, but this is definitely up there as one of the highest. It's definitely the highest in the uh, support class. And if you run around with ammo packs, you can definitely keep your ammo coming back to you all the time. Because you're only given 20 in your mag and then 120 in reserve. So if you can just like keep an eye on that, keep seeing like your ammo count, don't get let it get too low. You can pretty much stay in the fight the whole time. And I fully recommend this gun. I think the one I use the most is the trench variant. And that's because of the hip fire rate on it, or the hip fire accuracy, I should say. It's way better than all the other LMGs in the game. And if you put on the anti aircraft sights rather than the normal stock sights, I don't really like the stock sights. I think they block off too much of your view. But the anti aircraft sights, you can see everything still. It leaves your sight picture wide open. So you have a clear field of view. And you can pretty much snipe people with this gun as well if you get good of it. So. I fully recommend it for all those reasons. Try all three of the BAR variants, but the trench one is my favourite one because of the hip fire. So I recommend all three, but the trench gets my highest recommendation. So go out, try that gun, use my recommendation on it, and that's it. Yeah, that's it from me today, guys. I've been Serial God. See you in the next video.